Okay, so we're on Gimel Amud Aleph. We're going to go down. Nice. Right? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole PDF. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that, check out the website in general. It has, uh, has everything. Especially you can go to hebrewbooks.org slash Chabad and you basically get the entire Chabad library there. In this format, PDF of books. Wow. Anyway, okay, so we are, we're, on, we're looking at the uh, first of the wider set of lines, which is Makim Shenogu Livna Yishulu. It's a new section of the Gemara analyzing the next passage in the Mishnah. So the Mishnah said that partners, after they split their property, and they're now building a wall. And we spent the last two daf going through why they're building that wall, either because they've consented to do so, and they've made a kingdom that they will do so, and therefore they're ob obliged to build that wall. Or, and this is the halacha, that even if they didn't consent to build a wall, as soon as they consent to split the property, then they have to build a wall because of hezekriya to prevent the damage of them seeing each other. And the next clause in the Mishnah was, that was the first halakha in the Mishnah, and the next clause, halakha in the Mishnah is that makim shenagu livna is gvil gazas kfisim livnin, the place where the custom is to build. So in other words, they, they have to build a wall because of hezekriya. What kind of wall now? We'll follow the local custom. I'll call the community, follow the local custom. And the Mishnah gives four different types of walls, Gvil, Gazas, Kvisin, and Livnin, four different materials for walls. And then the Gemara goes on to say, the Mishnah goes on to say how thick each of these walls are, thus determining how much property each of the two need to give up for that wall. That's the Mishnah. So the Gemara is going to do now is going to first tell us what these four things are. And then it's going to get into some details about its width and why it has to be so wide. That's what the Gemara is going to do. So says the Gemara, the uh, last line before the widest set of lines. Gvil, the first of the four walls is called Gvil. That's Avni, that is stone. The Lord Meshapia, that haven't been smoothed out or planed. Planed as in like, you know, smoothed out. Gazis, Gazis is Avni, stones, the Meshapia that have been smoothed out. So naturally, as we're going to learn, the unsmooth stones are wider than the smooth stones. Once something's been smoothed out, it loses some of its width. And that, of course, is relevant because the Mishnah said that the Gvil, each person has to give three Tvachim, making a total of six. And the Gazis, well, the Gazis is smaller. Sorry, the first one is Gvil, is the Leim Meshapia is not smoothed out, and Gazis is smoothed out. Av the Meshapia, a stone which is smoothed out. So the Gazis is smoothed out, therefore it's smaller. So the stones themselves are six Tfachim wide, and therefore each person has to give three. And then once they're smoothed out, they lose their Tefach, and it's two and a half Tfachim for each person to make the wall. Okay, the Morgan is a Pasuk. How do we know that uh, Gvil is... Um, I'm sorry, Gazis is smoothed out stones. The Mara brings a Pasuk from Malachim. You can see the, the Pasuk Malachim is describing the, uh, the, the palace of Shlem HaMelech. And it says, call Ela Avonim. All of these were built by Avonim, Yakaris, the uh, precious stones. Kimidas Gazis, like hewn stones, like stones taken out of a quarry, like hewn stones. And the Gemara says the Gemara, which means see the rest of the Pasuk. So if you go to the left, um, where you see the Gimel, Teir Er Hashalem, the Gemara should have it. Be able to read the entire Pasuk, the little, the little bays, I'm sorry. All of these were made of precious stones, committed causes, like hewn stones. Smoothed out with a smoother. So there you see that the Gazis is smoothed out stones. Then yeah, it goes on to say from the inside, from the outside, from the roof to the top, from the whatever. Okay, so we have one type of wall made of stone, either unsmooth stone, fresh stone, or smoothed out stone. Then there's another type of wall, which is made of brick. And brick, of course, is made of mortar. It's not a direct stone. It's made of a, some, sort of, some sort of clay, some sort of 
mixture that's made into a stone. And there's two types of stone. There's kvisin. Kvisin is archin. Kvisin is a stone. I'm sorry. Kvisin is... Archi is a half a stone. A half a brick, I'm sorry. Whereas livnin is livni. Livnin is an actual stone. So you have two types of walls. One of stone and one of brick. I keep on mixing the words. Stone and brick. Stone is two categories, either unsmoothed or smoothed out. And then there's brick, either half brick or full brick. Okay. Let's look at Rashi. Arich. Rashi is in the top, is in the right. It's farther up in the page. It's about the middle of the Rashi. What's Arich? Arich is Chati Levena. Arich is a half a brick. Now, how wide is a brick? Well, Levina and a brick itself is Gimel Tfach. It's three Tfach. Vaharich, and therefore the Arich, which is a half a brick, is Tefach Umekza, is a, one of Tefach and a half. But nonetheless, the Gemaras, the Mishnah said that Kvisin, which is a half a brick, is wider than, the wall is wider than the actual, living in the actual wall made of actual brick. How so? Because, Vaoyvi Akaiso, the, dent, the thickness of the wall made out of this half brick is arich mikan, a half a brick on this side. The arich mikan and a half a brick on the other side. The tepach be'emtza and a full tepach in the middle. Shenoisim shom tit lechaveroi, lechabroi, where you put uh, cement inside to connect the two. So which means you have then therefore tepach and a half plus a tepach and a half plus one tepach makes for five tefachim. Four tefachim, I'm sorry, right? Right, one and a half, one and a half, make three. Four. Four. Yeah. So each person's got to give two tefachim. Whereas if you're making it just from directly, the... sorry? Oh no, go ahead. Yeah, okay. whereas Livni says the next Rashi, the actual brick, Levena is, is complete bricks, not half bricks. And Levena and a half brick, Levena for the full thickness of the wall. And a brick, as we said, is only three tefachim. So in the brick wall, each person gives that a tefach and a half. In the other, in the half brick wall, each each person got to give, um, each person has to give. How much each person has to give? Each person has to give two and a half tefachim. Right? No, sorry, two tefachim. Each person has to give two tefachim, right? Because you have a brick, a tefach and a half for the brick, and then a half of a tefach for the cement in the middle. Right? Yes, so it's each person gives two tefachim. Clear? Okay, if it's not, interrupt me. Where are we? We are on the widest line in the Gemara. On the way, Rabba Bray, the Rava, the Ravashi. Rabba, son of Rava, said to Ravashi, Mimai digvil avni. The Lord Mishapia, how do you know that Gvil is the unsmooth stone? Mean who they are. And so let's put it this way, right? We, we, we said before we have two types of walls. We have brick walls and we have stone walls. The stone walls have two types, Gvil and Gazas. The brick wall have two types also, Kvisin and Livnin. So we know that of the two, of the two walls made of stone, one is bigger than the other. Or at least in their total size, one is bigger than the other, right? Because the Gemara, the Mishnah said, that when it comes to Gil, each person gives six Tvachim. So Gvil has got to come, the total of the Gvil wall has to be six Tvachim wide. And the Gazis, each person gives a Tefach and a half. Each person gives two and a half Tvachim, the total being five. So of the two types of stone walls, one is six and one is five. So how do we have two types of walls made of the same material, one of six Tvachim wide, one of five Tvachim wide? So the assumption at the moment is, the way the Gemara concluded is, the difference is, is it smoothed out stone or unsmoothed out stone? When you take a stone out of the quarry, it's six tvachim. So if you leave it as is, it's six tvachim wide. But once you smooth it down, it loses the tapach, making it five tvachim. That's the assumption at the moment. But the Gemara now is challenging it and saying, why are you coming to that conclusion? We can have two sized, tfach, we can have two sized stone walls, and yet both of them be the same size. How's that? So it says like this. This is what Rabba is asking Ravashi. Mimai, why are you concluding the gvil, that a gvil, the first of the 
stone wall, the bigger one, the one that's six tochen wide, uh, the loy meshapia is stone that have not been smoothed out. Ninu they are, mahai tepach yeseram. Why is it one tepach bigger than the one who is smoothed out? Why is the gvil one size, one tepach bigger than the gazes? Mahai tepach yeseram, this extra tepach, is the meirosh of the karnata, for the protrusions, for the things that pop out. Right, the, the stuff that karnata means, a, a karnata, I think, means a corn, a, a, a corner, and yeah, the, the Rashi says Rosh, we can see Rashi. The Merosha, the Karnatam, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. It says Rashi, Rosh Yavonim, heads of stones, boiled to the chut that are popping out in the sides. She'en chalukah, it's because they haven't been made smooth. Olahachi boyach, reich tech, it's tepech yisera. And that's why they require extra tepech more than the gazes. And this is how you, why you come to that conclusion. Because we know gvil and gazes both mean stone, and yet they're different size. One's five tuch and one's six tuch. So your assumption is the extra tepech is because it hasn't been smoothed out. Vilma, perhaps. Talga, the Gazes have it. Maybe, really, all stones are smoothed out stones. And smoothed out stones are five tochim wide. Now, why is it, therefore, the Gazes has six tochim? Because a Gazes is a half stone. And the extra tepach is lebene orbe, is for between the rows. Who? It is. Get the Kamino and Christian Archi Livnin. Archi Livnin and Livni, uh, Archi Livnin, uh, sorry, Christian Archi Livnin Livni. <coughs> maybe, maybe the Gazes is two half stones and the extra Tefach, two half stones, meaning therefore two and a half Tefachim each. And then you need an extra Tefach in the middle for cement, making a total of six Tefachim. And you do that the same way you did by the brick version. The bricks you said, Christian, the one type of brick is Archi half brick. Living in the other type of brick is living in the full brick. But why does the why does the half brick get wider than the full brick? Because the bainy orbit because of the cements in between. Right? So the, the two different sizes by by the bricks you figured is because you're either using a full brick and if you have the full size, or you're using two half bricks with cement in the middle, making it bigger. That's how you came to do different sizes when it came to the bricks. Why not do the same thing for the stone? Say so the stone is really five tochem wide. And the, reason, and the other type of stone, which gets a six tochem wide wall, is because it's two half stones with cement in the middle. Clear? Yeah. It says the Gemara, Amar Lei, so Rav Ashi responded to Rabba. Okay, so you're, at, in other words, at this point, it's arbitrary. You can either go this way or you can go that way. You have no reason to pick one way or the other, right? So look at me, in your reasoning, says Ravashi Taraba, you're asking the question as if one makes more sense than the other, then ask the other way. Kvisin, Archi, how do you know Kvisin's two half bricks with cement in the middle, totaling it um, four tefachim wide, right? A, a, brick, a, a half a brick here is a tefach and a half, a half, a half a brick there, tefach and a half, and a tefach in the middle, making it four tefachim wide. Minola, how do you know that? Why not say it's a bigger brick or something? Meaning, you're assuming that we know for sure that when it comes to the bricks, the breakdown is either a full brick or two half bricks with cement in the middle. Why are you so, why are you so sure? Ella, rather, you must conclude. It doesn't make sense to say shave the... Sh Sorry? I was just going to say, well, it doesn't make sense to say shave down bricks. So it makes more sense to... Right. That way. Yeah. Good point. I, I, I guess the Gemara is asking, I just assume the Gemara is asking, how do you know, how do you know the brick, how do you know the Christian Bahal is a half brick? You know the kind of brick? Right. Yeah. Garrison and it helps us here. No. I hear your question. I hear it. Well, the Gomorrah is actually going to ask soon. Maybe that is where it is. That Christian is, un, is unpolished bricks. 
I'm always going to ask that soon in, in the other version. Okay. Yeah, it's going to ask that's unpolished bricks, actually. I think I'm always going to ask. So it seems like there are unpolished bricks. Okay. I'm always going to ask that in the reverse. Anyway, okay. At any rate, um, Ravashi is basically responding to Rabba by saying that you have, no, you have no frame of reference to say one way or the other. It's not as if it makes more sense to say this about, <coughs> about the two types of bricks and you're asking, why don't we say the same thing about two types of stone? There's, there's no reason to assume one is more logical than the other. And then for Ella, rather, you must conclude, Gemara Gmila, the Gemara has it by tradition, that a fissin is a half brick. Finished. So once you're saying that we have by tradition that this is the way it is, Gvil Nami, Avni, the the fact that the Gvil is considered a stone that's not smoothed out, Gemara Gmila is, by tradition, this is the way it is. In other words, is telling it, it seems to me at least, the way Gemara is saying it, that Ravashi is saying that you have no reason to say one is more logical than the other. So, you ask Mother Gemara went this way, not the other way. And if it went the other way, you would ask why didn't it go this way? The bottom line is that we have to assume that the, the reason why the Gemara said this is because this is what the Chachamim had, this is what it is. You know, it's like a kasha, you know, a kasha for Misa, a question on the story. This is the way the story is. This, what's a gvil? A gvil is this kind of stone. What's a kfisin? The kfisin is a half stone. Why ask me why? That's just the way it is, what it is. And so it seems that Rashi's respond. Anyway. So Ikadamri. The Gemara says that there's another version to this question, to this conversation. You have to keep in mind, I mentioned this here before, I think, that the Gemara is a conglomerate of conversations that have been recorded over centuries. So um, the, the, the redactors of the Gemara, the people writing the Gemara, could have been uh, close to 100 years after the people actually talking. So it's, often, it's not uncommon when the Gemara says a different version to the same statement, because different people remembered it in a different way. Moreover, moreover, everything the Gemara writes down is because the teachers told their students to memorize these lines. That's why they're being written down, because the teachers told them to memorize the lines. Which is why sometimes the Gemara will ask, why are you telling me this statement? Didn't I already know this from somewhere else? You know, what's the big deal to the same thing twice? Right? You, you hear the same thing twice from a lot of people. I think we're asking this, because if, if it's written down, it means that whichever time Amoida is speaking, actually told the people, memorize this line. And to told to memorize this line is because it's important to remember this line and there's information that this line contains that some other line does not contain. And if we're told to memorize two different lines, then there has to be something that's being taught to me in either of those lines that I wouldn't know from the other. So, which adds another layer, by the way, which we're not addressing today, but we should in theory, is Rabbi Ashi's answer seems so obvious. What was Rabbi thinking? Right? Yes. We had this in, the, in one of the previous Gemara's. The Gemara asked, and we decarta, uh, uh, decarta my Kari law. And the questioner, what was the questioner thinking? Right? Because if, if, if we're memorizing this conversation, then that means that every part of the conversation has value. So what was the first guy thinking? What was the other guy thinking? Anyway. But the point being that the Gemara now is going to introduce the same conversation in reverse. So the, similar, the, same, the same argument, but the same in reverse. In the first version, the Gemara took it for granted that um, bricks and half bricks and you put cement in the middle, that was taken for granted. And the Gemara asked, why don't you say the same thing by stone? Now the Gemara is going to take the other way for granted. That stone that's either smoothed out or not smoothed out is taken for granted. And the Gemara is going to ask, why don't you say the same thing about brick? That brick is either a full brick or smoothed out brick or unsmoothed out brick, whatever. So it's a question of what you take for granted and what you're asking about. Those are the two versions. So let's see. Ikeda Amri, another version of the same conversation. Amri of Acha, Berei of Avia, of Ashi. First of all, it's a different person speaking. It wasn't Rabbi Berei Rava, it was Rabbi Acha Berei Avia, asking Rabbi Ashi. So the responder is the same person in this, in this version, it's both Rabbi Ashi. But in the first version, it's Rabbi, son of Rava, asking the question. Now it's Rabbi Acha, son of Avia. And the Gemara asked the question, this version of the, of the conversation has the question as follows. Why are you concluding that Kfisin is half size bricks? And why is a Kfisin wall one tefach larger than the, actu than the actual uh, brick itself? Because the brick is only a tefach and a half each. Because it's a three tefach and wide brick. Whereas the half brick is um, two tefach and each. The Gemara ants, even though it's only, a, it's only one and a half fucking to half brick. 
because the or orbe, because you need cement between the two rows. You have two rows of half, one, of half brick, tefach and a half, tefach and a half, plus tefach in the middle, makes four, three tefach each, four tefach. So why are you saying that? Dilma, maybe my kvissin, what is kvissin? It, should, it shouldn't say avni, it should say livni. That's the correct version. Livni, the lemish shopian. Maybe it is bricks that are unsmooth. So apparently, in the process of making bricks back in the old day, you had bricks before they were smoothed out, and the bricks after they were smoothed out. And bricks before they're smoothed out is a tefach wider than the bricks after they're smoothed out. And the extra tefach that the unsmoothed out bricks has is a marosha de karata for the protruding parts that are coming out that haven't been smoothed out. Just like you say by gvil and gazes, just like you say by the stone. Gvil avid le meshapin. Gvil is stone that have not been smoothed out. Gazes avid le meshapin. Gazes is stone that has been smoothed out by tefach chaseda. And why is it that the unsmoothed stone is an extra tefach? The marosha the karata for the extra things popping out. <coughs> and the response is the same. On my lay, Ravashi responds, well, Taimech, and in your reasoning, <coughs> you're so certain um, that the that the stones are actually un- that are that, that the stones are either smooth or unstone, unsmooth. How do you know that? How do you know Gvil itself is stones that are unsmooth? You know, how do you know? And like Marag Mirla, we have to accept that the Chacham had by tradition. Hachanamik Marag Mirla, if we must say the same thing is true um, of the different types of bricks that they have by tradition. Okay, so this is the conversation. Is that clear so far? Two versions why of the there, Sorry? I'm just curious, why is there no Gears uh, indicator on that? Uh, that's a big. Uh, the Abu uh, Yeah. I, I, there is on my Gemara. There's a little Zion. Oh, oh okay. To the side. Which says the Chassam Sefer and Rashi changes it to Livni. Okay, no, I was just curious. Mine doesn't have anything. Yeah. It, it doesn't make sense otherwise because the Gemara is yeah, the, yeah. the other set, the stone set. Yeah. Okay, so the, just to recap very quickly, the two versions of the conversation are the same in reverse. Right, the Gemara has, the Mishnah has two different types of wall, either made of stone or of brick. The stone has two sizes, one, one tefach bigger than the other. And the reason for the different sizes is because one stone is unsmooth, thus, those extra things popping out give it an extra tefach. The bricks set is also two sizes, but the reason why the two sizes is because one of the wall, brick walls is a brick split in half with cement in the middle, giving it an extra tefach wide for the cement in the middle. And the Gemara asked in two different versions. First, the Gemara asked, why don't you assume that the two different size stones is because one of the, one of the, one of the stone walls is stone split in half with cement in the middle? One version of the question. The other version of the question is, why don't you assume that the larger brick wall is bricks that haven't been smoothed out? And the Gemara answered, essentially, that we have it by tradition. These are the four types of walls. Finished. That's just the way it is. Okay. Now, the big question is, why, why is the Gemara so obsessed with this at all? Yeah? So let's see the next line. This is the, this is the most important line from the whole Gemara here. Amar Abaye, Abaye says... Shmami, no, we can derive from here, kol bene orbi, any time you're going to make a space between two rows of bricks to build a proper wall, tefach, it must be a tefach wide. Tahani mili, this is true, betina, if you're using mortar, if you're using cement to make the two walls stick together, then you need a full tefach. Aval berichsa, but if you're going to use berichsa, which is gravel mixed with cement, as Rashi is going to tell us in a moment, baitvei, then you need more. You need more space. Because gravel takes up more space, so you need more than a tefach. The ikadamri, others say, no. All the way around. Hani mili, when do you say you need a full tefach berichsa? If you're using gravel, and that's why it needs so much space. Aval betina, but if you're using just cement, boy, boy, you don't need so much because cement can go into a thinner space between the two. Okay, so either the tefach in the middle is for cement and for gravel you'll need more, or the tefach in the middle is for gravel and for cement you'll need less. But here's the ikir. Let's see Rashi. Let's go to Rashi. Okay, so we saw the Rashi, the Rashi Ardiyak, we saw the Rashi Livni, we saw the Rashi the Rashi the currency. Uh, so first of the Rashi here, the Orbe, between the rows. Big dimushimikan between the row over here, big dimushimikan the row over there. The nice and tip and you put cement in the middle. So here's here's the Rashi, here's the correction that I was talking about from Rashi. Hachgar sing aim a livni for the mishapni. It shouldn't say aveni, but it should say livni, right? Rashi changes the word there. That's the Rashi there. 
Okay, so Abaye said, Shmami Novel Chulu. Abaye said, we can derive from here that any space in the middle is a tefach. Says Rashi, the nafkimina, what's the difference about Allah? The Kabbalah law, live is quite full of Chaveidah. Anyone who makes a, takes upon himself with a, uh, with, I guess, with a Kenyan to build a wall for somebody else, this is the standard. So it's really code. The Gemara is writing the halachic uh, building code. That if you've got to build a wall, it's got to be, and there's going to be cement in the middle, it's got to be at least half a watt of cement. Anything less than that, and you're not making a proper wall for your fellow. And the other guy, and you can claim damages or whatever it is you can claim later. So um, look at the picture. Look at the picture they sent. Uh, where, which one is it? So look at the, the, the first picture I sent. And the first, the middle, the text in the middle there where it says, watch the voice say Rashba. The one that says Ema, this comes from the Shit and the and he quotes Rashba something like this. So the Rashba was speaking actually earlier. Ema, Mike Vil, Palga the Gazes. He is commenting on the Gemara's question, but the Gemara asked, why are you assuming that um, Gvil and Gazes is either a smoothed out stone or not smoothed out sm stone? And that's the difference in size. Difference in size is the extra bit that's not smoothed out. So the Rashba is asking the question, what's the difference? So says the Rashba, the nafkimina, the difference is, when you're buying and selling, of if someone takes upon himself to build a wall, gvil, that's a gvil, that it has to be a certain type of wall. So if I say I'm going to build you a gvil, what's a gvil? Well, we've got to go to the code. And the gvil is, a unsmooth, right? The gvil is the unsmooth stone. But, and the Gemara is asking, maybe a gvil is something else. And if the gvil is something else, then when I take upon myself to build a gvil, I have to build another thing. So it's the same thing as Rashi, except for two things that are very important here. Let's, 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 let's conclude. And this is the same thing true of what the Gemara says later. From here we derive, this is what the Abaye says. Uh, uh, sorry, more than that. And this is also the reason why the Gemara says from Abaye that from here we learn that the space between rows must be a tefach wide. The same thing is true of this entire sugya, this entire teaching. So the Rashba kind of expands it. First of all, there's two things that make sense different than Rashi. Number one, he comments earlier than Rashi. Rashi comments on Abaye, which says Shmamina, whereas he comments right away on the Gemara's question. And secondly, um, he adds this thing, meaning to buy and sell. If I told you I'm selling you a gvil, and then you find out that the gvil is not a six tvachim wide wall, you can say, I'm sorry, you lied about the sale, and I take it back. Right? Because you weren't honest about what the sale is. And, then that, and, and therefore, it's important to know what exactly a gvil is and what exactly a gazis is, because when I'm selling it, you have to be honest about what I'm selling it. Rashi doesn't say those words, although I don't see why the halach is being different. And the Rashi was also more split in saying, the same thing is true of this entire discussion. Now, I, I don't think that I, I'm just pointing out the differences. Now, I don't think the Rashi is actually arguing with the Rashi, and I could explain, except for the Mecca Chememcha part, but the other part, the fact that Rashi is not talking about specifically Abaye, he's talking about the whole sugya, seems clear to me, and I'll tell you why. First of all, when Abaye says Shmami no, from here we derive. From where do we derive? From the whole discussion we just had before. This means the whole discussion we had before is for the leading halacha, Shmami no, from here we derive. Right. Number one. And the second thing is, maybe I'm being over, uh, over, over medayik, but I think the Hulu, Ashi says Shmami no Hulu. The Hulu is necessary in the Dibra Hamasal of Rashi. Could just say Shmami Nof, here we derive. And the Naf Minna, that Rashi says Hulu, as a, or, or Rashi could have said, could have quoted the whole thing. Shmami Nof, called in over Tafach. I think the word Hulu is to, to, to allude to everything that's going on here. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's a fantasy diuk, but I think it's correct. Anyway, okay, I just want to point that out so you can see that this whole 
back and forth is Negea. And we're going to see soon more details about how to build a wall. It's only Negea Pasha for building code. When a person makes a claim that he's going to build a certain type of wall, it has to live up to a certain standard. If a person makes a claim that I'm selling you a certain type of wall, it has to live up to that standard. So we have to define exactly what these walls are. Okay. Let's go back to the Gemara. Oh, first Rashi says, Berichso, look at the Rashi again. We translate it as gravel. And Rashi says, and this is where we get the translation from, Avonim Dakais, thin or small stones, the chit and cement, then Shnehadim Musois between the two roads. So it's not just cement, it's mixed with gravel as well, which takes up therefore more space. So either that's we need a tapach and the cement itself needs less, or if the cement needs tapach, then the gravel needs even more. Those are the two versions of the Gemara. So let's go back to the Gemara then. Lememra, four lines on the bottom of the page. The uh, sixth, seventh word. Lememra, are you suggesting, says the Gemara, to the Gazes, and when it comes to a Gazes, which is the wall that is smoothed out stone, and the smoothed out stone is five tochen wide, and therefore each partner has to give two and a half. Call down the Amis Goiva for a full four Amit height. Amis height, which is how much you need here. We need here four Amis. We're going to go with the halacha that it's Hezek Rishme Hezek. And that, like that Rabbi Gershon points out. And that's why it needs four Amis height, because Hezek Rishme Hezek is prevented when there's a four Amis high wall. So, and the Gemara is insisting that it has to be six Tvachim wide. I'm sorry, five Tvachim wide. So the implication is that if it's less than five tochem wide, the four Amis wall will not stand. And therefore, if it's less, if the, if the thickness, poitya means thickness, if the thickness, thickness is five tochem, then koi, then the wall will stand. The four Amis will stand. Eloi, if it's not, if it's less than four Amis wide, four, if it's less than five tochem wide, loi koi, then the wall won't stand. The thickness is, the, dent, the thickness of the wall is too thin, to hold up a four Amis high wall? This is the Gemara's question. So I'm going to push forward in the Gemara and then I want to go back to the Toysis and we'll look also again at Arashba. Gemara asks, about Amatraxin. But there's something called the Amatraxin. The Amatraxin is a wall that was 30 Tfachim high, that was one Amma wide that stood to separate between the Holy of Holies, the Kodesh Kedoshim, and the Ula, and the, the Ulam, or the, the, the Kodesh, the area before. And yet, to have a Gavoya plus an Amsa, it was 30 Amas high, the Loi have a Putya, and it's thick, which is nothing other than Shis Pushri, with only six, six fucking wide. The, the, the exact width of an Amma is a, is a debated topic, but then the Mesa Midrash was six fucking wide. So the, this wall, which stood 30 Amas high, was six, was six Tvachim wide. Now, if the Cheshman is, the common it stood, says the Gemara. Okay, well, let's look at Rashi to play out the question. Rashi says, the memory of the Bukhaz is called Amas Goiva. This suggestion is that every four Amas requires five Tvachim of width in order for it to stand, and if not, it won't stand. Says Rashi, give it to there must be some room in our mission of Begazis. And when it comes to Begazis, this guy's got to give a kapach at two tvachim and a half. This guy's got to take two tvachim and a half. And, and, um, and that's, the, that's, a much, that's a why the wall has to be five tvachim wide. The Katani Sefer, and we're going to learn later in the Mishnah, which is the end of, our, of the first Mishnah, later in the Gemara and Dafei, we're going to learn about the end of our Mishnah. That it has to be built four amas high. According to this calculation, eight, an eight amas high wall would require ten tvachim wide. If every five tvachim, if every four amas requires five tvachim to stand, then a eight tvachim high wall would require ten tvachim. And a twelve amas high wall would require fifteen tvachim and so on. Now, according to that, says Rashi, continue going. 
Well, amatraskin, traxin, but the traxin, the, the, the amatraxin, the ama wide wall that stood, says Rashi, the binyan shleima, of the, bin, the, the building of shleima melech, the first isn't midosh, the gazes hava was actually made of gazes. So you don't argue to me that the reason why this thing stood for 30 amas high is because it was a different material wall, not gazes. The Pasuk says that Shleim HaMelech built in Gazes. The Ksiv Avni Gazes. The Pasuk says it was built Avni Gazes. Stone of, stone of Gazes. Which means it was a six Tvachim wide stone. And it was a 30 Amas high wall. The Ein Oivav Ela Amma. And its width was only an Amma. Its thickness was only an Amma. Lahadal Bein HaHechol. The separate between the Hechol, the Kedosh Kedoshim and the Kedosh Kedoshim. Now according to the Cheshbin, that every four Amas you need Five tvachim. How many tvachim wide should this wall be for 30 amas high? I'm really good at math with the accountants. I don't even know how to do the cheshbon. But if every four amas requires, what's 30 divided by four? It's, uh, uh, seven and a half. So you need seven and a half times five tvachim. Times, times five. five. So it's over 35. A very wide wall. Yeah. Very thick wall. So that's the cheshbon. Okay, so says the Gemara in answering the question. Third to last line, the Gemara. Fourth to last word. Because it has an extra tepach, koi stands. In other words, once it gets to a certain thickness, you hit a certain critical mass, it stands high enough, or at least the 30 yamas. Dashi explains. And because of this extra thick tepach, you can raise it up much higher. And you don't have to apply to every four amas another five tvach. And it makes, it makes sense. I'm not an engineer, but it sounds reasonable to me. Okay. Um, I think before we go further, let's look at the... Oh, the difference between a freestanding wall between two neighbors and uh, a wall and a structure. Oh, that's a good, that's a good point. And the Gemara is going to make that point later. And Teresa is going to make the point now. Let's look at that. That's a good question. That's, that's a very good point. Okay, but let's look at the Teresa now. Arba, this Teresa here, the, the Arba Amas on the left. Arba Amas, Goiva, Apoche Dehe Koi, four Amas height, stands on a thickness. You see his version, it's a little bit different than the way we have it in Rashi, but same point. Arba Amas, Goiva, Apoche Dehe, four Amas. <laughs> Height stands on a thickness of five tochen. Koi stands tfei more than four am, more than five four amas loy koi won't stand on a thickness of five tochen. The wording in the Gemara is a bit different. Maybe it changes. Russia, not, but, sorry, nothing. The wording is a bit different. Rashi it says the member the because it's called all the amas koi you have a put your hit. Let us say that every four four amas require five tochen thickness to stand, whereas Rashi Tosis version is. Four amas, four amas stands on five tochen, and in more than that, it won't stand. Whatever, same point. Okay, says Tysus. The Kash the Tam, the Tam has a question. How Livnin, the Livnin, which are the bricks, the bricks are only three tochen wide. So it's two tochen less than the stone. The Gari, they are, they are, Narrower koi b'shloisha tvachim will stand. I think the gari actually maybe even means they're worse. Means they're worse material because they're bricks. That could be what Rashi what Tesis means. What's a worse material? It's a brick. It's as opposed to a hard stone. Koi b'shloisha tvachim. A four amas high wall can stand on three tvachim with. Right. That's question number one. So what, why would you assume? That all of a sudden, when it comes to that, you have to have five tochen. Okay. But additionally, we find the koi because it's tvei aporta. We've seen stone walls that stand higher than four amis with less than five tochen wide. Just as a matter of fact, we've seen it. Sister Ben Tam's two questions. Answers Ben Tam, but Tira Tim Tira Ben Tam answers the Haki Kama. This is what the Gemara means to say. More than, 
more than four amas high, it won't stand in accordance with the code of what it causes is of what people want to be built for them. It'll stand for many, to- for many years because she burn in the gods when they build the gods. So it's not a question of technically standing, but it's a question of standing very strong when they want this type of wall, which means like this. If you're asking for a cheaper wall, this is what it seems like from Taisus. If you're asking for a cheaper wall, this is right. If when you're asking for a cheaper wall, then, okay, you get a cheaper wall. But if you're asking for a stone wall, that means you're paying because you want to have longevity. So then you have to make sure it's going to be long. It's going to have long. It's going to have that longevity. And if we have to have five tefachim for the four amas, so it seems like from Taisvus. Any other way to explain this answer in Taisvus? In other words, how does it, how does this answer answer the first question? The three tefachim wall. How, how does it answer the first question? His first question was that we see by a worse brick, a worse material made of brick, that it stands four amas high on three tefachim. What's the answer? That when I want something to long, last long, I need to have five tefachim. Well, I, I don't want the gvil to last long. I don't want the uh, kvisin to last long, the living to last long. What's this his answer? They don't last long because they're cheap. So that's why I'm suggesting that perhaps this is the, this is the meaning of Toysos. They're saying that, um, sorry, it has to work in accordance with what a gazis is. And if you want the gazis, you're paying for a special for a gazis, and it's because you want it to last long. If you really want it to last long, then this is the, this is the, this is the amount. Could, could you perhaps say instead that because a gazis is, is, say, heavier, and yeah. since they've chosen a gazis, in order for it to stand as long, it needs to be thicker. A, yeah, a, so maybe that, a brick. Oh. Maybe if they choose a brick, because it's not as heavy, it'll stand just as long because if you make it thinner. Yeah. So this is a very good point. So you're essentially saying that all of the walls last longer. So that this Everyone material wants requires... it to last long. The question is what you're making it out of, because it's heavier, you may need to make it thicker. Oh, so, the, so it's a question of which material you have. Good question. A good point. So let's look at this is when you say Baruch Shekivanta. It's like, thank Hashem for hitting it on the target. Because look at the picture I sent you, the two pictures I sent you. A picture, the end of the first picture and the, and the second picture. From the Rashba again. So he says, the member of the Kol Gazes Barba Amis, the Goiva. Are you suggesting, says the Gemara, the Rashba's quoting, that any Gazes that's four Amis high, if it has five tochem of poche, it's the same version of Tosis. If it has five tochem of width, thickness, koi, it stands, and if not, loy koi doesn't stand. It says the Rash Bavatam, the reason is, because it's one stone piled in another stone. The Ein Beinayan Rikhsai Sid. There's no plaster or Rikhsai uh, is like the gravel, the mixed gravel with cement we had in the Gemara before. Shiyamadosim, to keep it together. The Him Kvedos, they're very heavy. But the halivnim, but these bricks, even though it's one brick upon the other, the ain't been him and they don't have the mortar in between or plaster in between. Ain't feidim's kavodim. They're not as thick, heavy as stone, and if they don't require the same width. Void additionally, ki asid shebe nidbach le nidbach hu mechaber oiser yosim and avonim cement or plaster that you might apply between bricks. Will hold the bricks together more than they do between stones. This is why it's enough to have three tefachim for the height of four amis. So Taka, you're right. This is the Rashba's opinion that everybody wants their walls to last forever. Um, but the question is, each material needs a different type because of the type of material. It's heavier. The stones are heavier, and if they require a wider wall, but Taisus doesn't seem to be saying that. Taisus seems to be saying, right? That if you want the gazes, then this is how it's got to be. Because otherwise, it's going to last anyway that long. Or otherwise, I'm not sure. Look at Tyson's again. Let's read it again. It's according to the Rash, but there's no 
Rechza, but there is seed in between the Levenim. Yeah, okay, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's plaster, not, uh, not uh, mortar mixed with gravel. Yeah, it could be. Which is normal. Though. There is what we see. Look, look, look outside. You'll see bricks with, with, uh, with uh, yeah. mortar between. But you see, stone with, you see stone with mortar between them also, right? But it seems like that I see Ben Nidbach, Lidbach, Mechabra, Yisim, Yisim, and Avonim. That the, 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 the plaster works better between bricks than it does between stone. Which is something that I think also is, I'm not, again, I'm not an engineer, but it seems reasonable to me as well. Okay, so what does Tysus mean? But he says it's not, though. Okay. Right, as you're right, he says there's no seed at all between the stones. Okay, yeah, the cheaper wall then. Stacked on each other. I don't think there's anything connecting them. Like you know, you see that yeah. salt tiles. Just I guess, I guess the, uh, the stone. Like right. They're huge. They don't the stone them. that we see put together is fake stones, prefab, whatever they call them. It's really small. Right. Right. Yeah. So let's see again, Tysus. What is Tysus saying? But Tira, it's Tysus answers. See, the Rashba answered both questions here. He answered about living near wide stands with Ritz because it's not as heavy and you have the plaster in between. Now, as for the fact, see, the, the only question that Tysus says that Rashba doesn't answer is the second question. We see in reality that there are stone walls that, la- that, that stand higher than that. Or they causes tfeya porta higher than foramis on less than five twelchem wide. This What's a porta again? Port, a porta means at less. On less. Unless. The koi because it's tfeya porta. More stands on less. I mean, more height, I guess, on less width. Let's see the answer. Again, the it's the hachik amar. This is what the Gemara means to say. Tfe more than four amis that will not stand in the halacha of what a gazis is that people want when they build it he says it seems like that my first understanding was correct that a person is paying for gazis is because a person is paying for these massive stones that are five to wide these cut out I guess the more expensive stones it's because he wants it to last for a long time. And if he's paying because he wants it to last that long, then it shouldn't be too high. And then, okay. That was first Tysus. Next Tysus. Traxin. The Gemara introduced us this Ama Traxin, this wall called the Traxin, which is one arm is high, one arm wide and 30 arm is high. That was in the base of Midosh. In the first base of Midosh, in the second base of Midosh, we're going to see in the Gemara didn't have it. Only Rabbi Tam Rabbi Tam says, "What does the word traxim come from?" That the word trak have a kamoi truki gali. This means uh, lock the gates or something like that. I looked up the Gemara in Barachas, the famous story about Rabbi Gamir and Rabbi Shua and Rabbi Kiva. So the Gemara says truki gali, which means close the door, close, lock the gates. So that's what the word track comes from, to close. Now, what does the word sin come from? The two words, track sin. Sin, how the Sinai? The word sin comes from Sinai. Klemar meaning to say, so you have track Sinai, which means lock Sinai. What does that mean? It would close off and break, or like uh, close off and hide the luchas that were given at Sinai. Which is in the Aaron, which is in the Kadesh Kadesh. One meaning for the word track sin. Others say, what does the word traxin mean? The word traxin somehow means inside and outside. Maybe trak means inside and sin means outside. I'm not sure how. But traxin means inside and outside. Let's look up the Yashal mean. Okay. Why is it called inside and outside? Because that Amma was in doubt. Is it. Uh, is it part of the Kadesh Yilashim or is it part of the Hegel? And that's why it had two paroiches. So there was a paroiches, a wall, and another paroiches. 
the curtain, curtain, wall, curtain. Because either the Kaddish Kashim started on the inside of that curtain or on the inside of that curtain. There's a famous, famous Sikha from there about the Amatoxin. I'm going to uh, comb through it to see if the Gemara has, it, has any comment in our Gemara. I saw in the footnotes there besides to our Gemara sometime, but it's the main sugya of Amatoxin is actually Yuma. So I don't think we should learn, we're going to learn the entire Sikha. And I'm going to come through it to see if anybody makes a comment that adds Pshat in our Gemara. And if I find something, I'll share it with you. I know that it makes a comment also about these two in Pirushin and what they mean. Okay. Then comes, uh, Yossi, your question from Taisus. Shine Hossam Nikla Tafar Kaseda. The Gemara answered by saying that the reason why the Amatraxim can stand 30 Amas high is because it has the extra Amma. And once it reaches that critical mass, it can go much higher. Hanim. I'm sorry. Have a motzil They could have also answered the agav tikro maziva that because of the roof and the plaster koyit it stood it stood higher. Right the, when you have a a wall that's in a structure that has a roof on top that's putting pressure on it with plaster and everything it stands much it can stand much higher than a freestanding wall. And the gemara could have answered that. The Gemara is going to mention later. So it would seem from Taisus that it's two options. Either option A, six tvach, the extra tefach makes it go higher, or option B, the building makes it go taller. When we learn the Gemara of Pashtos, we're going to see it's a combination of both. The way you learn the Gemara without Taisus, that it's a combination of both. That it's both the extra tefach plus the fact that it's built into a wall, into a, um, built into a building. Okay. Let's go back to the Gemara. Let's finish this, this little part of the Gemara and we'll continue the rest next week. Gemara continues. Well, Mikdasheni, second to last line. Well, Mikdash, second word. Well, Mikdasheni, second base in Middash, my time with the other Amatraxin. Why didn't they have an Amatrax and a wall between the Kaddish Kaddashim and the Hechol in the second Bishim Bidosh? Says the Gemara, Kikoi, because when does a wall of stand on width of six Tvachim, the Tlosin, if it's 30 Tvachim high, Koi, then it could stand. Tvei, if it's higher than 30 Tvachim high, Loi Koi, it wouldn't stand. Right, so the assumption is that the height of the Bishim Bidosh the second Bessim Middash was taller than the height of the first Bessim Middash. And the, for the first Bessim Middash, it's only 30 Tvachim high. It could stand on six Tvachim wide. 30 Amas high, I'm sorry. It could stand on six Tvachim wide. Where the second Bessim Middash was a much taller wall, a much taller built structure, and therefore could not stand on six Tvachim wide, and therefore they had a curtain instead of the wall. Kamar asked, I mean, the Goiva Tvei, the Goiva Tvei, how do you know? And the second Bismillah Midrash was taller than the first Bismillah Midrash. Because the Pesach says, God will ye cover the Bayi Sazeh, Ha'achre Menadishin. Greater will be the honor of this house, the latter one, greater than the first one. So the second Bismillah Midrash was greater than the first Bismillah Midrash. And Rav and Shmuel, Rav and Shmuel were discussing this Pesach. But Amrila and others say, it wasn't Rav and Shmuel discussing this, but it was Rav Chiyochanan and Rebelezer discussing this. Either way, you had two Amarayim discussing this. Chadam one says, the Binyan. One said it's greater in size, the physical structure of the building. Like Rashi says, the binyan, it was 100 amas high. So it's 70 amas taller than the Bismillah of Shlema. It's a massive structure, 100 amas high. The Chad Amr, another one says that it's greater not in height, but in years. And Rashi says, top of Gimel in the days, um, the Eser, the first Bessim Middash stood for 100 and 410 years. By the second Bessim stood, Dalad the Eser, it stood for 420 years. So the second Bessim is greater in years as well. And says the Gemara, back to the Gemara, top of the Gemara days, the Isi Lahai, the Isi Lahai, Laha, we follow both. The second Bessim Middash was like a bigger in size and bigger in, in how long it stood. Okay, and because it was much taller, Therefore, the Gemara says that they didn't have the Amatraxin because a hundred, hundred Amas wall could not stand on six Tlachim. Gemara asks, Benevit Tlachim Amin Bebinyin. If so, then why not make 
30 amas high of actual wall, because that's the maximum that a six tefachim wide wall can handle. The idach, and then the rest of the 70 amas, nebet paroiches, should have a curtain that at least gets something of the wall. Says the Gemara, no. Ki koi tlosin amsa nami, when does this 30 amas high wall stand? Agav tikra amaziva, only when it also has a roof and plaster. This is what I was telling you. This is the Gemara Tais is referring to. And Tais is referring to as two options. As I mentioned, as you saw in the Tais before, either it's six tfachim that allows it to stand 30 amas, or it's the fact that it's built into a wall. As Tais said that, that that could have been the answer. But from the Gemara, it seems like it's both. That when does a 30 tfachim high wall stand when it's built into a roof and a, and a plaster? That's what it seems like from the Gemara. We'll see Rashi. Shalia, the second floor, Nesuna Alav, was placed on top of this Amatrax in this, this wall. Maziva Shaltit and a, and a uh, plaster of cement. Uh, trach, I'm not sure what this word means. I think it means layered, but I, I don't know. I couldn't find the translation to this word. Al Goiva on its height. And therefore, the Koiva the Masa, the weight of the, of the load of that roof, Maimon da Koiso holds the wall in place. Shalayakal it's stubborn that it shouldn't fall to the sides. Helchach, therefore, but make the shame. The second base minister, Shaloy Hayo Koiso, Lamed Magia Laliyah, and the sturdy Amas high wall will not reach the floor, not second floor, because it's 100 Amas high. Therefore, Loyo Halamed couldn't stand. Okay. So the Gemara's question is Taka then. Okay, so the Gemara's answer, this is the Gemara's answer, that why didn't they make a 30 amas high wall in the rest of Because in order for the 30 amas high wall to stand, it has to have a roof and a, and, and, and the plaster that'll hold it in place. Okay. Says the Gemara of Levim Adashir, why not build however high you can? However high six Tvachim can handle, build that height. The Efshir Babinyin, do it with a wall. With a wall. The Levit Idok Paroiches, whatever's left, do a wall, do a, do a um, curtain. Because Lepoyo, we know from our Mishnah that five Tochim can handle four Amis. So six Tochim's got to handle a little bit more. Let's say it's 20 Amis, 10 Amis, 15 Amis, whatever it is, build up to that height, and then rest, put curtain. Answer the Gemara, and we'll conclude over here. And then we'll look at the Taisus. Omar Abai Abai says, Gmiri, we have it by tradition, Ilu Kuli Binyin, we have it by Halacha tradition. Either it has to be entirely a wall, Ikulu Paroiches, or Entirely curtain. You can't have mix. Because equal of the binyin, if you have it all entirely a wall, where would you derive that from? The mikdash, from the first basin mikdash, where it was entirely a wall, a 30 amas high wall, but still entirely a wall. Equal of the paroiches, if it was all, if you want to make it all a curtain, then the mishkan, that would be like the mishkan in which was taka the mishkan had between the kodesh kadashim and the, and the heichol, not the heichol, at that time it was called something else. Um, maybe the oil mode the whole thing, whatever the name was, but it had a had a curtain. So either you got to do it like the Mishkan with the curtain, or you got to do it like the first piece of the with a wall. You can't do half half. Okay, and that's the, and because because it was a hundred amas high, therefore they couldn't get away with doing an, a full wall because a six tefachim wide wall, even with the roof at the top, couldn't handle a hundred amas. And indeed, the other walls of the Bismillah, indeed, the other walls of the Kedush Kedushim, which went 100 amas high, were much wider than one amma. Amma. You can look in Rambam and look in the, um, in the Sakta Midas, you'll see it's much wider. Okay, now let's look at the Taisis and we'll conclude with this. Very small Taisis, but an interesting one. Amar Abaye Gemiri, Abaye said, we have it by tradition that either a full wall or full curtain, that's the Gemara Hashta, now that you've come to this conclusion. And you know now that you can either have full wall or for curtain, the Gemara doesn't need the first answer. The first answer the Gemara was that the roof holds it down. Right? And because you have no roof by 30, 12, 30 amis, therefore we can't do, 30, therefore we didn't do, uh, there, because you have no wall. Sorry, what was the first answer? Right, the first answer was that the reason why they didn't have a wall um, by the second base in is because it was too high. 
And then the Gemara asks, so I'm not sure which, which answer Tesis is saying. But Tesis is saying, now that you have this conclusion, it's either full wall or full, full curtain, now we know, oh, yes. So this second answer, the Gemara answered, why don't we have a 30 amas high wall and the rest paroiches? So the Gemara answered, because you have no roof to hold it down, because the roof is much higher than 30 amas. But now we don't need that answer. Because you anyways can't do half-half. Why is Tesis saying that? Why is Tesis negate? Why is it important for Tesis to negate the first answer? Especially since he was the one that said before, that there's a shtickle mochinish in Tesis here. I'm not sure what it is. All right, first Tesis said, that when the Gemara answered that the extra tefach gives it extra height, you should know that's not the only answer. The Gemara also going to answer another answer, which is that it has a roof holding it down. And now Tesis is saying, you don't even need that answer anymore. Because now that you know that the, that the wall in Beis Midrash either has to be full, full wall, which you can't do because 100 amas high, or full, full curtain, we don't need the other answer, which says a 30 amas wall needs a roof to hold it down. Why is Tesis negating that? Lohur, it gets back to the halacha. Right, we learned from the Rash Bar Nashi that what's the whole, what's on this negate halacha? When a person asks for a wall, you have to make sure it's built to the proper standard so that it's a feasible wall. Right. So is Tesis now, I'm not sure, but is Tesis now undoing everything and saying therefore that um, any gauzes beyond four amis, even if you have a roof on it, is no longer good? I'm not sure. Because earlier Tesis said that it is a good answer. I, I, I'm not 100%. Like what does Tesis want with this? Why is he saying this? I'm going to leave the question as is. But I'm just something to think about. Like, why, what, what's, what's bothering Tesis here? Why is Tesis doing this? It's a small little Tesis. Hash, let's start with Is he just bothered by the fact that they give the option of half half? Like, it's unnecessary. If we learn later, they just have an option. Well, how good for Kasha? Who said it's an option? Maybe it's need both. The way you learn the Gemara Papash is now Tesis is that the only way a 30, tvachim, a 30 Amis wall will stand on six Tvachim is if it also has a roof. The word the Gemara actually even says nami. Ki koi plus an amsa nami, agav tikr maziva. Need both. Mm-hmm. It's like 30 amas is very high. So you have to have sak taka six fachim wide and a roof to, and, and it has to be part of a full structure. Tysus, first of all, separate the two and then he undoes them. It's, it's, it's interesting. Something. I think, you don't need, I think you don't need the answer about the six fachim wide. About. about um, Half half because it's not an option because the base midrash has to be either or you can't do both options. Yeah, and therefore you don't have to answer and say that the reason why you don't have to throw is because there's no wall, there's no roof. I'm sorry, you don't need to explain. You don't need to say that anymore. Because anyways, you have to have. In other words, the, the second base midrash was hundred amas high. This let's let's just imagine that six tefachim in Tysus's version could stand on thirty amas high wall, right? So the Gemara answered, why didn't they do 30 amas high is because it also needs a roof. Mm-hmm. Right? So this is saying, now that we've come to the conclusion that you, that you can't do half-half, I don't need that answer anymore. Because even if it did stand at six tochem wide, right? I still couldn't do half-half, even if I didn't need a roof for it to help it stand. Maybe that's what Tysus is saying. Tysus is saying that we're undoing the other answer, as if to say, that a sixth fucking wide wall will hold 30 amas. Because in the answer before, the 30 amas high wall will only hold if it has a roof. And that was the Gemara's answer why it didn't have 30 amas high in the second basin midrash. But now we're saying, no, we don't need that answer. The reason why we're not putting a 30 amas high wall in the second basin midrash is because you can't do half half. Which means, then, the, then, then, then Go back to remove that second answer about the roof, which would mean a six tefachim wide wall could handle 30 amas. Maybe. And that would also fill in line with the first tesis. Yeah, there's two options. Either you have a roof holding it in place or six tefachim, because six tefachim wide could take a hold of 30 amas wall. Because the Gemara's answer that said, that the second Besson Midrash required the roof to hold it up at 30 Amis is then cancelled. And then for 30 Amis, a six Tvachim wide wall can handle 30 Amis in Tesis' view. Very interesting. Maybe. 
Maybe this is what Tysus is trying to do. Still requires more thought, but I think that's what it is. Okay. Mitzvah Shem Wednesday will continue. And I, again, I'm going to look through the Sikha to see if there's anything never, never commenting on this particular Gemara. Most of his comments of it is on the Gemara and Yuma and the Rambam. But if there's anything that I find that's related to our Gemara, I will, I will definitely share it. Okay, good enough. Eden. Any questions? Yeah. Anything unclear? Anything uh, left? On, uh, any on <coughs> loose ends? We'll see you when we close there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.